Hi, this is Robbie with Tickner Photography. I'm about to add a new hard drive to my Synology Disk Station 413. When I first acquired the Disk Station, I got two three terabyte Western Digital Red drives, and I configured them in a Synology hybrid RAID. So the point of this hybrid RAID is it is supposed to be able to accommodate adding disks to it. It should morph into the most optimal RAID configuration. So right now with two drives in there, it's effectively RAID 1. It's a mirrored array set. But by adding a third drive, this is a four terabyte Western Digital, not the same size as the others, it's larger. It should transition from a mirrored set to a RAID 5 as striped with parity. So in theory, it will increase in size, it'll increase in speed. It should just magically work. That's the hope anyway. So I have my four terabyte brand new drive in the little uh, hot swappable housing. So I'm about to go plug this into my disk station and we'll see what this process actually looks like. I've never done this before. So hopefully it's seamless and it's able to transition to RAID 5 like it's supposed to be. So let's go plug this in and see what happens. All right, there it is. So now we are going to plug this in. There we are. It's detected our drive. The light is blinking. Let's go see how long it takes for the system to recognize something. So... Notifications, not seeing anything yet. Hard drives, ah, not initialized. All right, here we go. It's detected the size, disk group, volumes, hot spare, let's manage. Expand volume by adding a hard drive. Okay. Disk four. Okay. All the data in the selected disk will be erased. Okay. Selected disk four, volume one. Expand volume by adding capacity. Capacity will increase from two terabytes to 5.4. Apply. Encrypted shared folder on the volume will be unmounted automatically in the manual. Okay. Yes. Okay, I can hear the drive thinking. Initialized. Expanding, so it's still with one disk tolerance. Mounting volume. Checking parity. Expanding. Okay, let's see how long this actually takes. And we're back. That expansion process, the expanding of the drive, adding a four terabyte drive to my existing RAID, took 40 hours, four zero, so almost two entire days. But during those 40 hours, when my volume was in expanding mode and processing, all of my data was still available. My network shares were still up and running, and I could read my data off of those drives. I'd never tried adding data to the volume, but in theory that should have worked. So something to keep in mind, it may take a very long time to expand a volume, but all of your data is not held hostage during the process. It's all available to you, which is really cool. But it worked, no problem. Now it's effectively a RAID 5, so it should be striped with parity. Everything seems to be working fine. I just let it sit for a couple days and now the lights, they went from constantly blinking to pretty much solid like they're just 
the activity lights that they usually are. Uh, my space suddenly expanded. I have not had to restart my disk station at all. The volume just expanded when it was finished. Those are the two. It started, then finished then. So it does take a long, long time, but it works, which is really cool. So I hope you found this somewhat useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.